Did you know that every month thousands of WordPress sites are needlessly suspended or upgraded to higher monthly payments for their hosting account just because they exceeded disk space limits? That's exactly what SiteGround threatened me with over this past week. Let's see if we can fix this problem without getting suspended and without upgrading our account. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and let's get started. Have you ever received an email like this and weren't sure what to do with it because it just came out of nowhere and you didn't even know there was a problem on your hosting account? Well, here's what you do specifically for SiteGround, and then we'll log into my Bluehost account so you can see a different way to approach it there. But we'll do SiteGround first because this is who's sending the email. So when I log into my SiteGround account, I see this problem here email service disabled due to suspicious activity. I've never actually gone and fixed this because I never used the email service on the SiteGround as well, but this is probably some kind of malware that I've cleaned up since then, but I haven't gone back and fixed the email service. But the warning that we're addressing today is web space limit reached. Click on review and it tells you what to do. Here's a bunch of websites that are affected and we can use our SiteGround area. We go to this place right here. Let's see if we can zoom in. And then we can see what the problem is. Hopefully which, which sites have the most file size, or what files are the biggest. I have a feeling it's local backups of websites that aren't being sent to places like Google Drive, but they're being stored on the server. That's my feeling. I haven't actually checked this out beyond this page right here. So we'll see. Um, we can also go to Site Tools, File Manager, identify the largest files and folders by clicking Show Folder Size and Inodes icon. And we can also ask them to do it. And I believe this is free because so much of what High SiteGround does for support is free. So I think this is free as well. Uh, option three, upgrade your hosting plan, i.e. pay more money. Don't want to do that. So let's start with these two first. We're going to go to our client area, service settings statistics, and then we're going to go file manager. And I'll show you some other stuff as well. So let's click on view plan. And this is our main website here. We have 14 websites of unlimited websites added to the account. And we can see our web space here. WP Learning Lab has over half of it. That's a big chunk. This site here has 3.9% or sorry, 3.1 gigabytes for 15.9%. And this one's got 10%. And then the inode is, or the inodes are much more diversified because we have 53% of the web space in WP Learning Lab, but only 18% of the inodes. And inodes are just individual files. So that's all those are. And we can reduce those pretty easily as well. I've got a video for that. It's pretty old. I'm going to make a new one of it so you see a new version of it. But there's a video I have that shows you how to fix the inodes. And we can see here by the hour, just today, those are executions. So this is associated with website visits. So don't worry about that. CPU seconds, same thing, website loading. And if you're getting value from this video, click the like button to let me know. You can also subscribe if you want to see future videos from me. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments throughout this video, you can leave them down below and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Now let's get back into it. What we really care about is the web space. And from here, there's no place to go. So we see this one, WP Learning Lab is the biggest culprit, but we have no way of actually clicking into it. Let's go to websites and let's go to, oh, I see this one right here. This is a website I don't even use anymore. So I could easily go in and delete that, which would save some space. Let's just go to site tools, see how much space that is for that website. 439 megabytes. So not nothing, that's for sure. Half a gig. Uh, let's go to WP Learning Lab. Cause that's the main culprit here. 11 gigabytes of disk space. So if we fix the disk space problem on this site, it should be fixed for the whole account. 73,000 inodes as in 73,000 individual files. That's a lot. So I think uh, it was telling us to go to statistics and uh, neither of those show uh, file space or file size. Access log. No. Error log? No. Traffic? Uh, sources? Behavior? Technology? No. Not there. Let's just go into site and then file manager instead because we can see our disk space for various parts in here as well. We see the size on the right hand side. 
of files. You don't see it for folders, but you see it for files. And there's got to be some mega files around here. Here I've got an old version of WordPress, a zip file that I downloaded from the WordPress repository to update the site manually, probably part of an older video I made. I could delete that. It's only 60 megabytes, but still it's not needed. And there's not too much as far as size goes in here, but I have a feeling, again, it's the, the backups. Let's go to WP Content, WP Vivid Uploads, Isolate, no, that's empty. So unfortunately in SiteGround, it's a lot of clicking around trying to find the issues. So here we are in WP Vivid, Vivid Backups. We've got a couple here. They're not that big though. Here we have some more. I'm just scanning the right-hand side over here for the file size. So clicking around is not working as well as I hoped it would. So I'm going to do what they suggested and click on this little folder icon, which is Show Folder Size and Inodes. Now it should sort all the folders within WP Content to be the biggest and smallest, and it is. So cache, it used to not show the file size for the folders itself. So we see that cache here is seven gigabytes and uploads is one gigabyte. A lot of pictures and stuff over the years in there, but cache is way too big. Why is that seven gigabytes? So it's not showing the size for the folders again. Let's click on folder size and inodes. And this min here is seven gigs for some reason. The, I don't even know what, what this is, honestly. Seven gigs for number one. It's taken a long time to load because there's a lot of files in here, potentially. So here's all the files. These are, I don't know what they are. Let's open this one. Almost seems like somebody uploaded some malware. I haven't had a chance recently to do regular maintenance on the website, so I've got a lot of outdated stuff on there. And that's what leads to most malware uploads is outdated stuff on your website. So when you open this, and it's a bunch of gibberish, it often implies malware. Because it's they obfuscate the code. So they have these kind of, um, what do you call it? Sequences of characters that are actually letters. And then when you patch them together, when the computer decodes these, these are actual instructions which if you were able to read them in natural English, you'd be able to see that they're malware. And so this is uh, it's something. Max CDN, Twemoji. Maybe that's associated with the plugin that, that brought that in. I should have pressed on number one. Uh, that's okay. Let's go back to number one. And I feel like I can just delete the number one folder. But I think this is our problem right here. It's seven gigabytes. So we have we have 20 gigabytes of space on this hosting account. If I delete this one, we have 13 gigabytes available. That's big. That's big. And if it's all these files that are just gibberish, uh, it's no harm in deleting them. If you're concerned that you're deleting something that you might not want to delete, what you do is you change the name of the folder. So I change number one which is never a name for any folder you'd see with a legitimate WordPress plugin or a legitimate WordPress folder because it, that's not descriptive of what, of what it does. You'll see most of the folders throughout WordPress when you're going through the FTP or a file manager going through the files, it doesn't want to load anymore. You will see that the folder names are quite descriptive and number one is just not a WordPress, legit WordPress folder. And there's so many files in here. There's 3,400 files, all of them gibberish. And likely what they were trying to do is send email from the server. And of course the server is, um, or what we saw at the very beginning, my email processes are inactive on my SiteGround server. So these guys had no dice. What I'm gonna do is delete the number one folder but then you also want to find out why it happened. And generally it's outdated plugins. 
as we can see inside of our WordPress site here, we have 25 updates available, 20 plugins, and all kinds of warnings and notifications. So this is something I have to work through. And when I update these things, likely the access point that these guys used is no longer going to be there. So there's that, and that's probably how this happened. So by deleting this, I'm going to solve the point of this video, which was to make more space on the server. And I'm going to make a follow-up video that goes into how this happened, as in how someone was able to upload all this stuff to my server and how to fix that. Next up, check out this video right up here. It's the first video in a three-part series that's all about protecting your site from malware and brute force attacks. Make sure you check that out. Super important. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.